Oh. Oh, hello everyone. Sorry, we gotta. I gotta fix this cam <laughs> thing. But hello, In the welcome meantime, back. Welcome back to the third match of tonight. We've got Columbia University versus University of California San Diego, which will be. I'm excited to see this match. It's one of our first sort of East Coast West Coast matches, even though we don't know where the players are locally because it's pandemic. I am Dwayne. I am one of your intercollegiate slippy admins. Usually in the back room helping out Lucky with various stuff, but stepping in today to do some commentary. We've got Lucky here. Lucky, his video is here, but he's got to do all the production stuff. So you're just going to get to hear my commentary for the next little bit as we've got Pat Attack from Columbia and Mix from UCSD coming in. And maybe Patrick will join us for commentary after he deletes the whole crew. So going right into it, we've got Marth versus Falco. That's a interesting. Yeah, this is a this is a they they are not like slowly going into this match. And so for some context the... for the viewers, uh, this yeah. is actually a special requested uh, gentleman's uh, starting player matchup. So this was specially requested by uh, San Diego. So for your viewers who aren't schools and already playing in the league, you pick players to sort of go in blind. And you can gentlemen to stage. And in this case, they worked out. We had Nick saying, hey, can I play Patrick? Like, he didn't specify the stage. He was like, can we play the Marth, like, game one? And Patrick was just like, Sure. So, Lucky and I were debating. We're like, okay, we think this is a bait. Like, but Patrick took it, and I'm sure he consulted with the Columbia crew. Hopefully, they were thinking like, uh, I'd be good for Patrick to go up against a Falco. But as we can see right now, this might have been a bait because this Falco looks ready to go versus Marth. Yeah, I just don't think they calculated why UCSD wanted to make that decision, you know? Like, no matter how good it is for you, there's a reason why they specially requested it. Yeah. So, to give a little preview, I'm sure we'll have this on the transition screen in a moment, but I think UCSD's crew is Falco, Falco, Fox, Puff, and then Marth. Which, you know, depending on player preference, you know, Spacey's might not like playing against Marth, Marth might not like the Ditto, and certain Puffs, you know, hate the Marth matchup because the Marth could just fairwall them. This might have been their little secret tactic to get, you know, their crew's most hated character out of the way quickly. Yeah, and it looks like Pat Attack gonna take one stock, so good on him, but he lost another and now he's on his last stock and this could be a three stock. Could be, but also, you know, one Marth at the ledge. We're on the side, one quick back throw. Let's see how Pat wants Pat to get to center make stage it back again. There. Needs to get back with the safe options. He's Spot. gonna have another chance right here. He's oh, his jump. He's just in the Ooh. air, he can't get down. He might have a jump, but no. That was a weird air dodge. Air dodging off, like away from the stage instead of in. I think that's a little bit of nerves and just a, just a, a little strange recovery option. But... Looks like the UCSD gambit paid off. <laughs> we'll I see think that was calculated. Really... I think I the think... decision for this matchup was very specific and calculated. They wanted Patrick out of the way. And that's you know what? If I'm if I'm Patrick in this scenario, it's an honor to be feared. It's an honor to say, look, the other crew respected me so much that they only wanted to play their most advantageous position against me. And they, they were afraid to do anything else. So, you know what, Patrick, you only took one stop, but but you got you got the honor and the glory. I don't know. I think he just got baited. I don't know about the glory. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just got baited. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is a fully voluntary decision by Pat Attack, and I think it was made independently. I don't think the rest of the team was consulted. Hopefully, we're going to get Patrick on commentary soon. Maybe, maybe not. You might even know me. Before he comes on, I want to give a little disclosure. Patrick and I are good friends. 
you'll probably hear him call me Jack. If you don't call me Dwayne, either way, it's fine. We're, we're good homies. It seems like I'm tearing him up right now because we know each other very well. Same year from Columbia, both alumni. So, so don't, you know, this isn't just the admin comes in and roasts every single person in ICS. Um, but to sort of introduce the, or is it, you know, <laughs> maybe Lucky and I are savage, and that's why Lucky keeps me off commentary, except for these random backup times. <laughs> but to give you a preview, so we went through the US, the UC San Diego crew, um, characters, Columbia University, you know, they've got Patrick, which you guys are probably familiar with, at Pat Attack, Whiskers. Previously hidden boss Yoshi that if you were in New York and maybe Tri-State you were in the know about, but he's broken out onto the national scene with his win against HBox. A very strong game against Zane at East Coast Fridays last night, I think it was, in which we had a we beat up Zane's puff so much that Zane needed to switch to his Fox secondary. Um, Blizzard Beam, who joined us. Our crew wasn't here for the free melee editions, but can come on for Spring Circuit. Happy to have them. Puff is a great addition to almost any crew. Um, Eob, that's that's Eob's name. We won't say his <laughs> tag. Um, Eob the Sheik, usually our lead, didn't lead this time. And Guilty Love is a is a person on our roster that we haven't used before, so this is going to be his first performance in this week too. Uh, by the way, I do think uh, Guilty Love uses she, her, her pronouns as listed on the confirmation form that I can see. Ah, thank you for giving me the heads up. But yeah, we're looking forward to her performance. And, you know, yeah, it's always good to have she's. You know, pre previous position is usually spacey, so we'll see how it works out. And we got Blizzard Beam coming in against this Falco. Blizzard. Blizzard, we are happy to have him join our crew. You're going to see me talking a lot about Columbia from sort of the we perspective, because I went to Columbia and I've talked to their crew pretty often. Um, he's a patient Jigglypuff, you know. You'll see him. He doesn't like getting camped by Mars, but, you know, you'll see this Falco matchup. Falco might try to just spam lasers from a distance and wait for Blizzard to approach, but. He's got the patience, and you might, you know, I feel like when you're playing these mental waiting games against Puff players, oftentimes they have the stronger mental, like, capacity. So, And I think, you know, in this matchup, this could actually be one of those times where it goes into a very long, extended, neutral bout, uh, where I feel like if the Falco goes down in stocks and percent, uh, especially in this scenario, uh, they could just want to start laying back and seeing if they can just get laser percent and then going in for a kill once Puff is at like 80 or 100. Yeah, we're going to... Mix went in versus Patrick. He was up in his face shooting lasers, coming in with their shine and everything. That same game plan I don't think will perform as well against Wizard Beam. Wizard Beam well perceived as a better player than Pat Attack on the Columbia crew. Oh, why we're having a little bit... Faster? The lines are fucking Hopefully, they either aren't playing a match right now, or... Uh, they could have paused. Playing... I think sometimes when it pauses, you just don't know. Yeah, they, they, could, be, yeah, they could be playing right now, having a very clean match, or they could just not be. No, they paused it. They paused it. Okay. Starting at 45. You know, that's actually a big brain strat. Pause it so you can get the exact correct start time. That that is that is the neutral neutral start method. All right, waiting for both of the taunts to go through, and we're already so this is much more aggressive than I predicted. You know, the pop player is gonna go in from the start, and we might see them sort of dissociate a little bit. But I might just be dead wrong. Might be you know commentators talking out of their butt. I think in in this matchup, uh, it's gonna be hard for Puff to get in. Puff will be able to get like longer combos, but Falco, I think, wins the neutral. May not be able to get as long as combos, but definitely can 
still hit some, but maybe not as hard as Puff can, potentially getting like death combos pretty easily in the air. Yeah, oh, both of these players are definitely kind of settling into that ma this matchup. So you can already see it mixed, throwing out the, like, the high dare on shield, getting shield grabbed, and Blizzard really being bored throughout hand to get him off stage, it didn't quite work out, but Not we're seeing... Jobs. Yeah, what's this? Both of these people are playing... This is this is a very hot and cold match, and both of them are playing weird. Going down as Falco from there, yeah. but not gonna make it. I think Blizzard Beam here, though, if you're Blizzard Beam, your mentality has to be completely different, because unlike Mix, you can't just be like, oh, I can just take stocks and however many I get, that's great. It's more of a, my team is down now. Well, we're down, th like, three stocks. We gotta catch up yeah. somehow. Yeah, if you're Puff right now, you want to say, okay, look, this is a player who I've seen, he can make, like, we both made some questionable decisions already in our neutral play and not quite capitalize on our punish, but if I'm the first one to polish it up before he does, you know, I can take both of these stocks, go into the next battle with three, but Mix is doing a good job of keeping Puff out for right now, and you can tell he's getting used to playing this low game. Standing laser is not going to be super helpful, but yeah, the box out game is working. And you know these adjustments, you don't have a lot of time in cruise, but both of these blizzards are going to need to adjust quickly. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about at the beginning of the game, where Falco's like just chunking up that percent, but not really like trying to invest too hard in a combo per se, and willing to reset to neutral a little. Uh, and then now, just at this percent, just kind of look for that death, like death yep. confirm and, yeah. or death option, and there you go, that's a kill. Yeah, if you're Falco, you don't want to overbake it. You don't want to try and like, okay, like I haven't gotten the kill in the past 45 seconds, even though he's high percent. Let me go for forward smash or like some random laser down tilt. It's like, just do safe stuff. Like this is a patient. Most all puffs matchups are going to be patient matchups, and back air at like 120 isn't ideal, but it will seal the deal. Yeah, and I think. You know, something to note right now is that uh, the lead has actually grown for UCSD. Columbia is now down four stocks, and this could be the fifth, but not quite. Yeah, that was that was looking like a scary sequence there. The Falco got that up for You know, Blizzard's staying pretty grounded, and he hasn't quite found the game plan in order to get in. Yeah, and just took that S right there. Going to take another, and that's going to be death. And now Columbia is down five stocks. They need a, a real miracle here to try and come back yeah mix you know mix was ready to go in first but we've got a one stock to one stock if both players ice in their veins here you know ignore that mix has been outperforming our entire crew for the past seven stocks if you get one up throw you get rest you get something and you can help reset the situation just a little bit you know, I think crew battles are super interesting in that way of like, uh, mentality can be a thing applied after the first game when you see someone who's like, what if someone wipes out your first two players and you have to play against them, you are probably not going to do as well as you would have if you got to play them like starting, you know, in, in game yeah. one. Well, that's death. Ooh. What happened? Lost, lost track of the. I lost track of the jumps there. I didn't realize Blizzard Beam's yeah. already out of them. And maybe, yeah, if that was the case. I feel like we should have seen some rising towns earlier, but, but Mick's that's gonna tough. Stay in for the next game. I'm kind of shocked. Next, Mix has cleared out eight stocks of Columbia, which is which is hard because now you're at the position of do you want to send in your Sheiks versus Falco? Because even that's a pretty even match, but the Falco's hot. It's probably favored to him. Or do you send in your big Yoshi player already and risk him getting counterpicked, you know, by the four remaining people on their crew? If I'm Columbia, I think I'd like, you know, I'd like, I'd like Guilty Love to come in see what, see if she can polish off this stock. You know, you've got two Sheiks, and hopefully you bait out their Sheik counter. When she comes in at first, you know, and hopefully, you know, she beats the sheet counter and you don't have to worry about that. But if not, you send in whiskers, eliminate it, and that way there's no hard counter for when a sheet player, in this case, EO, has to anchor. Yeah. 
Uh, now is a good time to just take a moment, and uh, if you are in the Spring 2021 circuit, if you are coming in for your match and you are part of the crew battle, please do have your broadcast set up, or please do know how to broadcast, or in the very least have your questions ready for when your match is up, because uh, hearing that someone needs to figure out they need figure out how to broadcast when they're called up for their match is a, a little bit disheartening, you know? So please do try to learn that. Uh, we have the information on our website under guides and resources, so please do check that out. Uh, yes. And if at all, you know, if you're in the Discord, which, I mean, all the players are, just feel free to at me, at any of the admins. You can at, just at admin. I know everybody likes to do at Lucky, but Lucky's time is very precious. I need him doing other stuff with Lucky. But yeah, we'll help you. Like, I'll get on, I'll walk you through how to set up broadcast or, you know, clean water or some of our other admins will help you out. So don't let day of crew battle or don't let counter pick moment be when you ask your first question. You know, we're happy, we're happy to answer them beforehand. Yes. And I'm sure most of your team knows how to. So if you just ask them a little bit beforehand, yes. I'm sure they'll tell you the three easy steps to just set it up. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like we are going Battlefield after an FOD ban. Sheik's coming in. Which Sheik do we have? Uh, we have Guilty Love coming in. Ah, okay, okay. So maybe EO is going to be in the enter position. Maybe. I Guilty Love's... I would not recommend putting EO I... in the anchor position. Oh, that's it, huh? Oh, no. I think anchor position should be whiskers, honestly, but... I think, yeah. Yeah, those sort of, without looking at the player scale of it all, you would put in... You do have, like, your chic anchor again, but knowing that whiskers is head and shoulders a better player than you have... Oh, I think, I think they just started. Oh my chance. god, they're going right into it. Yeah, I was about to say! <laughs> like... I thought they were just gonna warm up and then start the game, but they're just straight in. <laughs> Mix is like, I'm hot, get me in. But I'm loving the start by <gasps> Guilty Love. Let's go! Ooh. Ooh. That was sick. That's, <laughs> and if you're Columbia, that's what you need right now. You need the, that you quick see. polish. You see, even if... I say, look, even if the stock amounts weren't going to change, like, even if the result was still going to be Guilty Love wins it with four, you want to see her win it with four in the freaking 15 seconds of that match because that boosts CU's confidence and says, look, we're still in this crew battle. If we watched a nail-biter you know, first stock, both players go up to 100% and then she lands fair and closes it out, that's a lot less confidence. And I believe Cruz is a really, really mental game. Yeah, Columbia down right now by four stocks. This is a single player. It's doable. I do think, though, right now we'll have to see Within the next, like, two players, either Eob or Guilty Love, I'm pretty sure Whiskers is going to take more than four, but you need either Guilty Love or Eob to take more than four, make sure they're, like, pushing your team to a, a net positive rather than staying in the net negative. Yeah, you definitely... This is the scenario where it's do or die. Everybody, everybody needs to pull their weight. And even if you're going to rely on your anchor, reliable Whiskers... You know, you still need to say, okay, look, if I'm you, I'm guilty, love. It's like, I'm shooting for five. I'm shooting for six if I can get it. Like, don't settle for four. Chad is confident. Chad is like, she'll take more than four. I'll I like... It. I want to see it. I, I want to see the comeback. It. You know, I like to play... I, I want to see the comeback. I like the story here. It's guilty love's first week performing in intercollegiate slippy spring league it's like you know you're watching the anime and the exchange student just got introduced to the class transfer student and oh damn they're really good yeah they're the new monster boss right, of the week the red cheek now okay and they go right in they go quick they go quick no no time to wait so we're watching cheek versus puff Oh my god, a lot of back airs. Oh I think god. this is a, a difficult stage for this matchup. Great F smash. Yeah, I'm, what was what was struck as the like no counter? Because she's uh, Dreamland was the ban. 
But I would I say mean, this is debatably worse because when she has to up B and recover, you have to land on stage or grab edge. Right. There's no platform. And you're right. You're not gonna get the like platform pugs. You're not gonna get your shield drop fares. You're gonna try to go for a lot more grabs against Puff here. And going for grabs against Puff is, is risky if she crouches. You could just eat a whole rest there. But Guilty loves Sean. She knows how to. She's great with needles and knows definitely, you know, how to keep Puff off the ledge. I think right now Guilty Love is looking for a kill option, has to avoid this neutral B, dangerous position. Whenever rollout comes on the screen, you know, like, I've only, I get hit by maybe 1 in 10 rollouts, but every time it makes my blood pressure spike. Oh yeah. You know, sometimes I try to do that, depending on my percent and the stock numbers, uh, if Jigglypuff hits you with rollout, they get put in special fall and they'll bounce back the direction from which they came. Uh, so if they come at you from your back and you're like facing in the stage and they're like closer towards edge, sometimes they can bounce off. Great ledge guard sequence by Jigglypuff right there. Knowing when to fail, knowing when to pull back to the ledge. Because she either has to go to the ledge or she's got that horribly long recovery animation off her upgrade. I'm loving the use of Guilty Love doing turnarounds and back air and getting that extra range and just keeping Puff out and being like, you have a back air, but so do I. Yeah. And she's doing a great job mixing in between like needle charge, needle throw, and then turning around and back air. She's got great proficiency. It looks like she's practiced this matchup before, but, you know, these aren't... Uh, all Shout the UC schools are... Uh, that's not appropriate. All UC schools are strong in this league. In Columbia... So Columbia is strong the power too, right now. To Gonna get the fair! Shout out to the power. Oh, that's not appropriate. <laughs> now it's off. <gasps> now it's off the table, and she dies. So now it's as fate would have it. You know, I'm sure that I'm sure that annoys the heck out of sheep mains. I'm sure they feel like people who do that have no honor. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone else is like, you take those against sheep. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's ready to play as soon as possible against sheep. And oh, probably yeah. the same is true against Puff. You know, I've tried to play some Puff matches on Unranked, and I've seen how the people quit out. <laughs> so Guilty but Love is trying to players... get one more stock here, and that could actually be a huge help for Columbia right now. Uh... Uh, and we might get, yep, down to a fair. Yeah. I mean, in What's theory, the ledge guard? Guilty Love needs to take this for Columbia to have net positive like stocks from oh. this exchange. Does the empty hop as if you're gonna rest to close 69. out the stock? Uh, that's not appropriate. Can Guilty Love get those 69 power up again? No power. No power. Some people just can't use it. I mean, it's really hard to channel it. You know, it's a it's a difficult form to master. Yeah, good back Takes here. the stock, gets it to one one. I wonder what her game plan is gonna be. Is it gonna be? I mean, you can't. Pop is so hard to get, so no. Oh, and that's gonna be it. Just easy ledge. roll up, or not roll. You not even roll up. Just get up. Just, just, just get up. You got the ledge. And so, guilty love takes a total of four stocks, I believe. Yeah, and that's gonna oh. net UCSD up one stock now. Like net them another additional. Net them right. So right, they're gonna have the counter pick advantage. Theoretically, going into your anchor. Which is a little rough, but but I liked her performance a lot. You know, I think that was probably the best chic play we've had on this crew so far. Okay. Yeah, so next up, we're going to have Whiskers, which I think is the right call. Because that buff, you know, Khaled with the puff was definitely well-versed in the chic matchup. And... If you're EO and you're like, if you think Guilty Love is on your skill level, or maybe better, or if you're just even, you're like, okay, that that was a nail biter of a match. Even if I have the counter pick here, like maybe I'll fare better against. You know, they've still got a Martha on their crew, so it's worth to try line up EO versus the Red Panda Master. Yeah, three stocks from Puff on FD by Sheik is no joke. That's very true. 
I'm surprised the game the yeah I'm surprised the game went to FD, but yeah she did a great job. I'm I'm expecting good stuff out of her for Columbia's crew. We're gonna have both Whiskers and Khaled warming up for a little bit. We're gonna get to see that beautiful Yoshi movement on the platforms. And that was a quick warm up, but that was a quick warm up. Oh. And yep, we're gonna go right into yep, it. We're going right into it on Battlefield. Whiskers wants the tri flat, definitely wants to be able to swing around on the platforms to get these kill options versus Puff, which. He so, looks so difficult as Yoshi, yeah. but he makes it work. You know, I was uh, playing Whiskers, I think it was, it was yesterday afternoon, and we were playing, and I just noticed, like, as soon as we went final, I'm like, this stage is, like, I can feel how much more my favorite is, because Yoshi just can't really move around, but on Battlefield, it's a completely different story. A whole different story. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if... You know, Whiskers gets to ban a stage, he bans probably Battlefield, or no, bans FD, excuse me, for most of them, just because he's like, I need some kind of platform. I mean, look at this right now, 56% for Whiskers, just getting it all from, like, single hit exchanges and eggs. He's dancing like a butterfly, dude. He's like, look, I only need to start swapping with you when I've got good position. Otherwise, watch me slide away. And based on the percent right now in stocks, Whiskers can just keep taking hits so long as it stays even. Because Puff is going to die way earlier than Yoshi is. Yeah. Yoshi is a beast. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe sus DI on that, but still, great way to close out that one yeah. stock with his Whiskers. You know, it would have been looking pretty bad if, you know, if they had eked out one like that. So what, okay. we got 8 to 12. So if you're UCSD, cool. who are you planning on sending in right now? You have two foxes and a marth. Foxes and a marth. So on paper, you're not sending in the marth. And, but then you're going to line up marth with, with yeah. sheet. So, I so mean, maybe I, you want to send in marth. I, I think maybe mojo. I think maybe, maybe mojo. Maybe a fox, see then a marth, goes. then a fox. Fox, then marth, then fox again. Yeah, but Columbia, I mean, Columbia has, seems like all their matches they have, they have to pull down like a five stock deficit and bring the game back in. That was the case, I think, for part of last week, and I know that was the case for the week before. Yes, and indeed it looks like Mojo is going to come in, uh, which is kind of like, yeah, and it makes a lot of sense. You know, you want to, you have two of one character and then the one Marth. So you want to try and split it up and give as much like diversity to the characters you will face, which are uh, Yoshi and Ashik. Yeah. Because I think, you know, this gives it the most likely option that the Marth will get to play some stocks of both of these players, but not have to just play one of the players alone if they Either try to send out the Marth them. in the middle. Which is a good position for Marth, I think. I agree. Because... I think it might be too much to leave Mark with all four stocks of Yoshi or all four stocks of Sheep. Yeah, because what you don't want to have happen is you like, oh, I'll just throw in the Marth now, like there's just a Sheep in the back, so let's just see what the Marth can do against the best player. And you don't want to see them get deleted. Yeah, uh, it looks like they're going right into it. I think, I don't know if Jamie's saying I forgot that uh, uh... <laughs> both have four stocks or... What's like, going on? That. This is a little interesting. Need to SD. Okay, Whiskers typing in said, chat. Yeah. Okay, never mind. No longer typing like, in chat. I don't. I don't want those three percent. So I don't want that three percent. We're restarting. I don't want that. I think yeah. Whiskers thinking that someone had to lose stocks and then realizing no one had to lose stocks. You were the one. <laughs> Still taking. Oh, evens it up. But Whiskers took a fat twenty-seven percent from like laser damage in the beginning. I mean, this is scary. This is even percent. Uh, if you're Columbia, you don't want to see even percent. You want to see lead. Yeah, you want to see lead. But, you know, if oh, you were UCSD, lead. maybe you were thinking, like, we know this is Columbia's best player. Like, it's 
impossible to imagine they've got a better one. So let's just send in our best player now. And maybe that's Mojo. Yeah, and that actually and could be a smart decision because you don't want to waste away your lower players against your opponent's top player. I think it's a good way right. to just you... throw away your stocks because you know that they're not going to win. Right, you send in your best player with their counterfeit. You know, this was this was Fox saying, okay, look, you banned, you probably banned FD. Let's go. Let's go stadium. Both of them are playing patiently. Back air is definitely not going to break through the armor. And he's going to eat the air for that. Yeah, Whiskers looking for an opening, but Mojo having some pretty good movement to not really be near Yoshi too much. But as I say that, pushed off stage and getting hit by Ooh. eggs. Egg snipes? Oh. Whiskers went for the fair. I think that was a little greedy. That was a little greedy. Would have been sick. Would have been sick though. Yeah, absolutely. But this is a high level match, you know? Yeah. I mean, this, this is like some intense neutral. Both players are like feeling each other out before trying to invest. Yeah, you can. I feel like these are definitely both of the seasoned players from either crew. You know, they aren't playing nervously. They look like they're doing the options that they want. Wow. Oh my god, I that up that. coverage was crazy. He he got him like with the side and he was going straight down, so it was hard hit again. <gasps> oh. oh, thank god. Thank god, Ruby, I got you to the next girl. When I get hit by stuff like that, it's like, and I don't know what's happening, I'm like, please, please get me on the ledge. I'll I mean, press that arm. brief moment of Fox without the Real jump life. was just for me, just enough for me to go, like, oh my god, is that Fox dead? And looks like Yoshi's Ooh. dead here now. Great, great job sneaking into the upper air. And, ah. Oh. What is this combo? Oh, what a combo! That... 100%! Whiskers knows how to use the invincibility right there. It doesn't quite close out the stop. And that's it! Down smash will do it! You can't, like, forget about Yoshi's crouch cancel. We're going to 2-1 to one here. I like the choice here. You know, start lasering. You know, your goal, even if you don't win this game today, is just to finish this block. So you end it with just him having won. Alright, Whiskers going getting out that from him. neutral B. I love that, because you just get some free damage. Yeah. And you can tell when the up B comes out from the Fox in that scenario. It's just because they're trying to mash to get out of the egg. Oh. Oh, oh that's so unfortunate. Get Sakurai because he got hit by the fire. Hit by the fire. Yeah, it's like with a little bit of different movement. You can see the snuck in down smash. Or full smash. Should be an edge guard, but no. Good tack on the top. Right. Is Mojo gonna make it back or is Whiskers? No, Whiskers does not get the edge guard. Gets the Nair. This is an edge guard position, gets the down smash, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, if you were Mojo in that last stock, you were feeling, as soon as you brought him to his last stock, you are feeling good, because they're like, I did my job. Like, we brought their last play, their best player to last stock. And, you know, even if he didn't close it out, but he's feeling very good, and his crew's in a great position right here. Eight stocks to five. And it looks Which like Red doesn't... Panda Master's going to come in as Marth. So yeah, yeah, you save the fox. Save the fox for the Sheik. And hopefully, Red Patent Master is just going to close this out and go right against EO. That's what UCSD is hoping for. That's what they want, but you're a Columbia That's alum. Is that want. what you want? No, I don't want to <laughs> see that. I want to see, I want to see Whiskers for stuff. I want to see some Marth Yoshi. I want to see some Marth whining about, oh, dude, Yoshi sucks. Yeah, You know, I want to see Jamie kind of like, I want him to take off his training weights. I feel like I, I can't tell, I don't think it's sandbagging per se, but I, I do feel like he hasn't put in his, his full power yet in intercollegiate Slippy Crew battles. I feel like he, he's close, but he just hasn't put it in just yet. I think if we see Jamie, I mean, Jamie's like, Jamie's entering tournaments, Jamie's got to save his juice for other things. When, you know, he's playing Zane on East Coast Fridays, or he's playing Bobby Big Balls. Like, that's probably where... Jamie's saving. Jamie Whiskers is saving all of his effort for. Yeah, but, but I mean, but you might. This is his you, team on the line here. It's not just him. It is. Columbia's on the line here. I think you know if you see Columbia make it to top eight finals or whatever the final bracket at the end of the season, and then you see Jamie playing for money on the line, you're going to see a different Whiskers. You're going to see a mean Yoshi. 
A Yoshi oh. out for blood. I mean, you you thought Yoshi was an herbivore, didn't you? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know. But Yoshi the carnivore. Oh, that's so yeah. good. You're just fortunate because Yoshi generally poops you. But <sighs> what happens when Yoshi wants to eat you? Yeah, what <laughs> what happens when I don't, the Yoshi render doesn't have teeth, right? Yoshi doesn't have. Yeah, teeth. I don't think he so. He just like bobbles you with his like long tongue. Put you out as an egg. I just imagine, it's like, you see Whiskers playing for money, top 8 bracket at the end of the season, Yoshi just doesn't have teeth. Yo, catch Whiskers playing an All Stars bracket in April. Uh, if you don't know what that is, we're gonna try and have a All Stars bracket so each school gets to send in one person to represent their school. Uh, we will have cash prizes. There will be a five dollar entry fee for each player, which you know you can recommend like everyone in your school chips in one dollar, send in one player, and then if they win, you get to split whatever reward that player got. But yes, please do check that out. Yeah, if you're already in the server, you've already heard that announcement. But yeah, we're running a singles all-star bracket. One school, or one player from one school. You know, it'll be great. You know, Whiskers is probably who Columbia will send, I imagine. But you could see some crazy matchups. Especially alumni and students too, right? Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, all time great from college. Whisker, and whiskers racking going right on into this Mark Yoshi matchup. Yeah, this is what you want to see. Oh. You know, this Mark is better than mine, so I'm gonna see how, how much he does, because I can barely take a stock from Jamie. Mark yeah. playing patient. Oh, oh sure Jamie had the magic percent, we lost it! Oh. Yoshi is not too careful about maintaining magic percent. They're like, okay, look, I can parry, you know, I can double jump armor. Percent doesn't e always equal knockback for me, so. Oh, this that's, a, that's a kibby forward smash. Taking him up to 122. Oh my god, that's it! That's it. Is, is this it, the end for the Columbia crew? We're going to see Eob the Sheik, but Eob the Sheik is going to be up against eight stocks of UCSD. Eight stocks. Eob's going to have to prove why he's the anchor. But great play by Red Panda Master, you know. In one stock to one stock scenario, it looked like he you know, he had it for that, for that game right there. Played confidently, made sure... Not to get caught up by a lot of Yoshi tricks. Didn't get all of his single hit moves eaten by double jump armor and then get narrowed or anything. He played back. Did very good, very well. So Eo is usually our lead position. And he's now our anchor. But he's coming in on a favorable matchup. Yeah, I mean, we need a new broadcast. We'll see this. I... I don't think it's going to go well. I think this is going to be potentially a three or four stock. Uh, don't do my man dirty like I'm that. I'm not trying to do Eob dirty like that. I just have, like, I've seen Red Panda Master play. You know, I have I basically watch every single game that happens on Internet Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've, I, got, I, you've got the deeds. Yeah, so I do, I do feel like Red Panda Master, and based on the performance we just saw against Whiskers, who's a highly rated player, um... He's playing I don't confidently. Think, yeah, I, I just don't think uh, Eob stands too much of a chance, and then there's also the backup player. So I just think the odds are not in Eob's favor. But I would love to see more melee and a potential comeback. You know, I think, I think this is... A, I've been talking a lot, I talked a lot in the previous crew we had before this, about how these matches are learning opportunities, and we're only in week two right now. And so Eop has previously been the lead position for the Columbia crew most time. And this is him testing out his anchor. And I think psychologically going in lead, you're playing a lot more cold versus anchor. You've been, you're watching all the previous matches. You're getting a lot more information. And we're going to get to see how Eop plays at a different position in the crew. Even if, you know, he can't bring back this massive comeback. There's, if... You know, if everyone's taking notes on the Columbia University crew, there's a chance that they're getting a lot of good information from this match right here. It's going to strengthen them for future weeks. So, yeah, reminding them that... Oh, wait, no, they can just go right into it. They can. Cause... I do not believe that was a stage. I think they're going Battlefield. 
Yeah, I was like, <laughs> ooh, wait. Why did you do this, EO? Alright. New York player, EO. Not actually from New York, but New York school player, EO. See, y'all think Loves it's still warm up? Here. What is he doing? Oh, come yeah, on. What? Yeah, you I gotta think, know this yeah, is I think, a game. I think, yeah, I think now they realize. <laughs> come on, man. This or maybe. Is a game. Maybe oh this man, is you gotta say that. <laughs> he, he said, oh, okay, still God. warming up. You gotta say that when someone quits out and you click start on the new game. Because you have to assume the other person picks... thinks it's like the, the real thing after the first one ends. When you first start on the stage, because they're playing Battlefield, right? Yeah, they're playing Battlefield and, and they both know it. <laughs> yeah. a little, little, little sus, but you know, Red Panda Master's being a good sport about it. You know, I think there's one thing we totally forgot to calculate, and that's, uh, Eob's internet could win this entire thing. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it, but, yes, but due to pandemic it. circumstances, you know... Well, no, 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 no. They're playing UC San Diego. So, if you guys don't know, Eob is located on the West Coast because of the pandemic. Nobody's really at Columbia right now. EO could actually have the best connection because it could be West Coast to West Coast right well, now. No, no, here's the thing. I connect with, like, West Coast people where because Patrick and EO are from the same spot, so their connection should be exactly the okay. same. So, But when I play against Patrick, it's completely different than when I play against EO. Don't do that, man. like that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, look, I'm getting just into it for know. real right now. He's... Oh, I like this. I like... So I'm off the grab. Don't get up throw up till up air. So, do you think my prediction's gonna be right? What do you think? Well, what's your prediction? Well, my prediction stock. was the Martha's gonna three or four stock. Three or four stock him? No. Eob takes at least two. Okay, sure. Whatever you say. You open money? Yeah. Five bucks? Uh, sure, mm -hmm. sure. Wait, 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 wait. How many said two? Or I, I, yeah, I said at least I two. two at least okay, I, I'll put five dollars on that. All right, pull $5 on that. Okay, make okay, make yeah. it hype, make it interesting for our 56 <laughs> viewers in here that might think this crew battle's already over. When okay, I night. just want to know when I take it. your money, you shouldn't feel bad, and I you shouldn't make yeah. me feel bad about taking your money either. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, chat. <laughs> I believe in EO. <laughs> Believing in EO has actually lost me a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> at certain points. <laughs> Believing in EO is about to make you lose $5 right now. Everybody, I think, everybody, everybody but our new edition of Guilty Love in the Columbia crew, I think, has money matched each other for various amounts. And we've all, as like, collectively, we've all side betted. And I think I've lost a decent amount of money on EO side bets. Alright, well, we're gonna see, you know. Oh, oh, there's oh, some yes, yes, No, wait, that, yes. that might not be it. Come on, come on, come on. No, oh, that's... Oh, oh okay, okay, that's one stock. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, that's one. That's one. All right, you just need one more. All you need is one more. The one odds more. are in your favor, more, technically. Let's go. I'm just hoping Red Panda Master's not sandbagging because I got money on this. <laughs> all the sun. All the no, sun. No, no sandbag. I got money yes, on this. Grab. <laughs> <laughs> God, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great job. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Eo. You just gotta play <laughs> See, see, for like odds wise, in a random game, I'm fav I'm think I'm still favored right now. But if you count in the context of like psychologically, Eo knows that this crew has seven stocks, and he really has nothing to play for unless he's gonna pop off. Like, <laughs> what's his <laughs> motivation for taking this next stock? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a really good point. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Don't dash it. Don't just dash dash me. Yo, the down smash! No, 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 no. Oh, it's oh, grab good. edge! Oh, forward smash! Oh! Money! God damn it. <laughs> well. G, G's lucky. <laughs> yeah, look at you popping <laughs> off. You're like, yes. yes. I'm just popping off because I predicted it exactly as, 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 as it happened, so. He had 70% at the end, right? Yeah, well, yeah, no, but I was like, I said three or four stocks, and it was pretty solid. I don't think it was too, uh, it was too weary. Eo started heating up his third stock. 
because he lost his first two very quickly. That's true. But, but that will do it. You know, UC yeah. San Diego will win their Week 2 match against Columbia University. Columbia University is now on a two-week losing streak after winning their first week against Skidmore College, who we just watched play the previous crew battle. Wow, and Jack. UC I really San... enjoyed these crew battles. How can I support intercollegiate Slippy? So, you can support in many ways. For you guys in chat right now, we would love if you aren't following. Yeah, I see Big Kitchen Sink just followed. We love you for that. If you're in the chat right now and haven't followed, please do. If you have the means, please subscribe. You know, all contributions here are helping run Intercollegiate Slippy, or they're going back to the players in the form of prize pot. So, you know, this is potentially just an investment in yourself. Subscribing with Tier 1s is great, but if you have Amazon Prime, check to see if you've got your Twitch Prime available. It's a free subscription. That's 5 bucks. You can use every 30 days. If you don't use it, you lose it. So use it here. You know, borrowing from blood on his little spiel. Um, outside of, you know, subscribing and following, you guys have channel points from watching this stream right here. And you guys have been watching for probably a good 40, 30 minutes right now. Accrue, if you accrue your points, you better use them. For every tier we break through, the prize pot at the end of, inter of the spring circuit increases. So use your points now. Last but not least, we've got one more match after this, and we will be raiding somebody. So Lucky can probably drop the little raid message that we like to use in chat, the yeah. holiday tree. We were inspired by you guys who like to chant, you know, spam this e like emoji to help this player. You know, we're like, okay, we're following your lead. You guys like to do this. Let's do this when we raid somebody. We're getting we're getting good recognition here. You know? We got shout outs from Toph. Toph loves intercollegiate melee. And we got brief shout out from Zane. Yeah. We might have to work on that last one. Bug Taylor Swift. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll we'll yeah, we'll ping Taylor Swift, maybe get him to put in the good word, you know. <laughs> put in the good word for us. Yes. People love intercollegiate melee though. Yes. And everybody in the scene is happy to see us growing. And you guys are being a part of, you know, Lucky and I were talking about our weekly viewership. And we're on certain nights, we're like you know, we're behind big names like Mango and Axe, but we're doing well. You guys are all being a part of something right now. And we're only going up from here. Yes. And additionally, to support Intercollegiate Slippy, uh, we are Amazon Associates, so we can make a, pro a commission from qualifying purchases. Uh, so please do go in the Discord. We have an exclamation mark Amazon command. If you give it uh, an Amazon link after you type in the exclamation mark Amazon command, it'll give you a returned link with our like reference code. So you can help give Intercollegiate Slippy uh, part of the commission. So please do go check that out. It helps us actually a lot, and it actually doesn't cost you anything more. So if you use Amazon, on a lot you should check that out in our discord anyway we're gonna be back in about 12 minutes we are going to have university of california berkeley versus purdue university's mixed team uh we're gonna play about a six minute ad if you can leave your computer open for it that also helps us a ton especially for these longer ads uh but yes oh thank you for the subscription top gem that's awesome oh, thank you so much let's Yo, go huge Dude. uh anyway we'll be back in about 12 minutes stay tuned we'll play the ad and yes, some more great melee and the post stream raid after. Do join that. It's a lot of fun. All right, yeah. we'll see you back in a bit. See you guys in a bit. Halcyon Green.
my god! You win! As long as you mad lag! As if everything that exists aromas, light, metals, were little boats that sail toward those isles of yours that wait for me. Well now, if little by little you stop loving me, I shall stop loving you. Little by little. You suddenly forget me. Do not look for me, for I shall already have forgotten you.
talk about your past. She's not who you're supposed to be. Those loves and heartbreaks are for her, not for you and me. Keep your head up high and walk straight ahead, 180 degrees. I know it takes courage to walk a path that you can't see. So hold my hand through bramble bushes and burning sand. Togetherness lifts the burden of being strangers in a strange land. Feed that dream of yours. Let it grow. Carry it to the distant land where milk and honey flow. I'll be by your side. For as long as I can, I'll be your guide. But please don't shed tears when I leave your path to follow mine. My dream is still a seedling. I've yet to find where to plant it. My search might take me farther than the Pacific or the Atlantic. So let me go. Let me go.